Hey guys, tonight we are working on my dad's 1965 Datsun pickup. Hey guys! That's my dad. And... <laughs> he's, dad. he's dad. So, this is his 1965 Datsun pickup. It's an L320. And it has a whopping 60 horsepower. 60 HP. And we are getting ready for a event coming up called a uh, Japanese nostalgic car show and it'll be in downtown Houston and we're doing a number of different things to it and we'll be kind of taking you on the journey all the way from door panels to uh, putting a it already is on bags but we're putting a new air ride system in it and um, doing some things that have been needing done interior and such so tonight I'm working on the door panels here and um, I'll kind of be going through the process so maybe if you have a project that you want to do your do door panels on your car that you can kind of take these steps and modify it to your project and you can complete it as well and then we have a camera set up over there and we're going to time lapse what he is doing since it's just for right now um, kind of taking it apart and um, and then different things that we want to highlight, we're going to video it more in depth, but we will have a time lapse of that, so we'll be able to show you as well. So here are the door panels that uh, we're making for this door. And on this door, it has a top garnish piece that overhangs the top and has the uh, pull handle for the door. There is originally a armrest here, but we're not going to be putting it on. Uh, so this was a square piece that we measured out from the indention on the door right here. So we have this sheared to the, this measurement. And then we went ahead and found the radius of what the, the door skin had in this area, in this area. And we marked it on the edge of the door panel and trimmed that out so it fits right in with the radius here. And we measured up from the bottom of the radius and over from the radius and got these two measurements for the window crank and the door handle. So uh, we had already just telling you what we've already done, but that's how we got that measurement is up from the bottom and over, up from the bottom and over. And that's going to locate those two holes. And then we just trim the rest to fit right in that radius. So a little bit here and this has a kind of a curve to it and um, I'll give you some close-ups to see what that is here so this is just roughly sitting in the door but you can see how it lines up right there come on focus and lines up there good gap uh, it is a little bit close on this side but same gap as well um, and it should be right in here and right in there so uh, that's so far good thing for us we are using nut certs to put this on uh, we're using nut certs and the the factory door had a had a cardboard uh, not cardboard but a fiber board um, door panel already so and it had clips so these holes are actually the perfect size for the rib nuts that we're using so we're using a rib nut here so you get it to focus so there you can see it a rib nut and we are installing rib nuts into these holes to then bolt on the door panel so I will um, start cleaning this off just getting the surface good and then we will start measuring out uh, to start placing holes in the aluminum So I got it all cleaned off. It definitely can use some more cleaning, but we'll do that before the final install. But it had some factory just like uh, just gunk right here on each of these, I guess probably to keep it from rattling. Um, but we got that all cleaned off. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to sit 
the um, the aluminum door panel back on here I'm going to get um, the pieces that go around the door and the window crank put those in make sure it still lines up good and then I'm gonna tape the sides and we're gonna start I'm gonna tape the sides and the bottom uh, of the door so that way I can mark on it and we're gonna start measuring out the locations of these holes before uh, or onto the aluminum and then we'll go ahead and drill them and then before you go ahead and put the nut certs in all these you want to not do that yet you want to mark your holes because once you put them in they're going to uh, they're going to look like this and you won't be able to get the correct location of the hole just because it's bigger sometimes they squeeze a little bit to the left a little bit to the right so we'll start out with it here we are drilling a little oversize on our aluminum panel but not not a crazy amount so we do have some wiggle room um, but I'll just show you that process as I continue to do it So you want to lay your tape out nice and straight and flat, that way um, we're going to be taking this on and off multiple times through this process and you don't want it to be, um, you don't want it to be wrinkled or anything like that because we're going to put lines that go diagonal here and here as long as, as, as well as the drill marks and the measurement marks. So you want it nice and flat so you can keep it all nice and tidy and lined up versus it being wrinkled and bubbled and not knowing if it's lining back up each time you take it off and back on. Since we're going to be taking the door panel back on and off through this process you want to make lines to reference the door panel itself to the door. So what I do is I take a straight edge put it at a diagonal so it won't look like any of your other lines. Hold everything down firm and just with the pen draw a line here and follow it down into the curve all the way across so you can do one you can do multiple back to back take it here and in case that one gets messed up you can move it to here again do another one it's better to do this at the beginning that way you don't get halfway through and you misalign it and half your holes don't line up and then you can just continue that process for each side that you're working with. So after you've made the lines, you can see here that they're lined up. So if you put this door panel in from right there, these marks here, and these on this side, if you were to put this door panel in and it shifted up or down like that, you can obviously see that it's not lined up. So you move it back to where those lines are straight with each other. And then you can continue marking and drilling. So after you've taped the sides, made your lines, we're going to start measuring for the holes. So we're going to be using a speed square and uh, uh, some calipers to set your distance off of the end. So since we are using our pre-existing holes, we're going to use those as our location. Um, if you're not doing that, if you don't have holes already, you can just measure off the side, mark on here, or even tape this down and just drill straight through as your pilot hole. Then drill the inside hole out for a rib nut, and then the outside hole for the, for the bolt. Um, in our case, we have these holes already, so we're going to measure over to the edge, and then we're going to have add half, uh, half 
the diameter of this hole, which in our case, the radius of this hole, which is half the hole uh, diameter, is 138 and a half. So it's 0.1385. So we're going to add that to the to the distance from the edge of this hole, and uh, we're going to measure that using the calipers. Add the add add the radius, and then mark that on here. And we're going to go down and mark those locations doing that. And then we'll do the same for here with our with our speed square. We'll put this here. We'll measure from the bottom. We'll make a line here, and then we'll measure up with the calipers half of that distance and we'll measure over and it'll put a cr it'll put a cross an X right where we need to drill for each of these holes so I'm going to do that process I'll let you see that and we'll just go around and I'll just time lapse it it is time consuming so um, it's back and forth the door panel comes on and off on and off so that's why it's good to have these holes to to re line it up so It'll be in a time lapse, you'll be able to see it, but that is basically what I'm doing. I have gone all the way around marking the bottom going up half marking the edge of it going up or going out half so I have all of my marks here these are still lined up I have it marked all the way around so now is the time where I'm going to start drilling into the aluminum and then putting the nut certs in so what I'm going to do is start with all four corners so I know that the door panel is still going to be aligned correctly and then I'll pick each side to go from there. So the reason why you do that, if, if you do all of this side and the door panel's crooked, then these back here are not going to line up. So you want it to be um, lined up correctly. So you can start at this corner, go to here, go to that corner, go to the far corner, and then you'll know that everything's in together, and then you can start working on the in-between ones. So as you saw, I marked for me to be able to drill the holes and I went ahead and installed nut certs in the actual door panel and then I started like I told you on the corners and the fit up was not the best so I was able to adjust where the lines were um, in my holes and I just went one by one and went around one by one and t kept test fitting it, taking off test fitting it so here is the finished product. I'm gonna uh, show you up close shots here in a second with the tape taken off. 